Have you ever wondered who is behind one of the greatest achievement of mankind? This video will go over the brief history of aviation. Who are the main inventors of flight? Was it just the Wright brothers? Who are the father of aviation? The ability to fly allows us to reach places much faster and more efficient so come on and let us learn. The idea of flying has possessed the human mind since the dawn of human intelligence. All early thinking about human flight been centered on imitating bird flight. Starting from the research that has revealed, that Leonardo da Vinci possessed the idea of human flight, and designed vast numbers of ornithopters. First effort of flight that got off ground was the design of the Montgolfier brothers. In 1782 Joseph Montgolfier conceived the idea of using the lifting power of hot air rising to lift a person off the ground, the brothers immediately got to work. After several attempts in public without a human inside, they were ready for the big step. At November 21, 1783, first flight of human passengers rose, and lasted for 25 minutes, for almost the next 100 years, only hot air balloons have been used. George Cayley, 1773-1857, true inventor of modern airplane design. George Cayley was the true inventor of the airplane. The modern design of airplanes was set forth by George in 1799, the first concept of a fixed wing for generating lift, and horizontal and vertical tail for stability. Therefore, he is considered one of the fathers in aeronautical history, for being the first to introduce the basic configuration of modern airplane. Otto Lilienthal, 1848-1896, all efforts that has been made in the past, it was not until 1891, the first person that actually jumped in the air and flew with wings by the name of Otto Lilienthal. He is also one of the giant in aeronautical engineering. On 1891, first successful glider flew from a natural hill in Germany. However on August, 1896 Lilienthal was gliding from a hill, and a gust of wind came and caused him to stall, and he crashed on the ground. He was carried away with a broken spine. However, he died the next day. One of his saying he used to say, sacrifices must be made. Aeronautics comes to America. Early development in aeronautics history has been mainly focused in Europe, from the first balloon flight of the Montgolfier brothers, Lilienthal, Cayley, and others. However, it was broken when Octave Chanute, 1832-1910, in Chicago which he started to design a hang glider, but his major contribution to aviation has been the successful biplane glider. Samuel Pierpont Langley, 1834-1906, Secretary of the Smithsonian Institute. Langley was designing and building series of powered aircraft, he stepped directly to full-size airplanes, he has built the famous aerodrome. However, he made a few attempts but failed to sustain a successful fight. Nine days after his second failure the Wright Flyer I rose from the sands of King Devil Hills. Wilbur, 1867-1912, and Orville, 1871-1948, inventors of the first practical airplane. On Thursday, December 17, 1903. On the dunes of Kill Devil Hills five witnesses were waiting, as the Wright brothers got ready to make history. Their airplane was made from spruce and cloth in form of two wings, one placed above the other, horizontal elevator mounted on front of the wings, and a double vertical rudders. A 12-horse power engine mounted on top. On the left side lays a man by the name of Orville Wright. The machine started moving along the 60-feet launching rail, near the end of the rail, the machine lifts into the air, at this moment, John Daniels takes the photograph that preserves for all time the most historic moment in aviation history, the machine flies unevenly, it lifts to about 10 feet, then descended towards the ground. This continued on for about 12 seconds, when the machine landed 120 feet from point where it lifted from the starting rail. Glenn H. Curtis, 1878-1930. Glenn in 1901, became famous for putting an engine on his bicycle, he had a passion for speed, which led him to have his passion for lifetime. In 1904, he became the supplier of engines for California Aeronaut. In 1907, Alexander Bill Graham invited Curtis to develop an engine for heavier-than-air flight experiments, and invited Curtis to join his Aerial Experiment Association, AEA. The Aeronautical Triangle, Langley, Wrights, and Glenn Curtis. The relationship, that dominated the development of aeronautics in the United States during, 1886 to 1916. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, stay tuned this is part 1 of many to come.